Study after study has shown us that people who sleep less than seven to eight hours a night are more likely to experience major weight gain. Are you getting enough sleep? Is lack of sleep causing you to get fat? Here's how lack of sleep can cause weight gain. One of the biggest causes of fat gain that most people are unaware of is disrupted circadian rhythm. And the circadian rhythm is this specific part of the brain, it's called the suprachiasmatic nucleus. It's not important that you remember the name of this part of the brain, but basically it's like a 24 hour clock in your brain. And it controls when you wake up and when you go to sleep, and it controls a whole bunch of neurotransmitter and hormonal cascades that dictate all sorts of things from our wakefulness and alertness and energy levels to our metabolic functions and to all sorts of other things. And in the modern world we now live in, because of electronics and artificial light and lack of time outdoors in the sunlight, we're disrupting that biological clock in our brains. And all of those different neurotransmitters and hormonal cascades that are controlled by the circadian rhythm get disrupted. Now, in the context of fat gain, one of the things that's going on that is now well known in science is that when you disrupt circadian rhythm, you change your metabolism, you actually slow down your metabolic rate so that you're burning less calories, and you simultaneously decrease your energy levels, which means you tend to move much less during the day. And this is all unconscious. It's not a, a conscious decision to move less, but you don't feel as much energy and vitality. And so you start spontaneously moving much less than you normally would. And those little movements that you might do throughout the day, if you feel more energetic, actually accumulate as hundreds of calories per day. So one of the things that happens is that we get this lowering of our calorie expenditure as a result of disrupted circadian rhythm. At the same time, disrupted circadian rhythm also increases the calories inside of the equation because it actually stimulates our appetite and our hunger levels and it actually controls many different hunger hormones that all of a sudden signal to our brain to eat more food. And there's actually research showing that it specifically increases our cravings for sugary and fatty processed foods. So at the same time as it's decreasing the calories outside of the equation, it's also increasing our calorie intake. And as you might imagine, that shifting of the calories in, calories out balance eventually translates into a propensity for fat gain. So two quick, simple things to do every day to get your circadian rhythm back on track. Number one is get bright light in the morning within the first hour of the day. Now there's research showing that just doing that will actually set your circadian rhythm and boost all of the neurotransmitters that increase wakefulness and energy levels, increase metabolic rate and so on. At the same time, decrease uh, hunger levels and decrease cravings for processed food and so on. The other important part of the equation is getting rid of artificial light at night. In the past, our ancestors didn't really have light around after the sun went down. Now in the modern world, we have electronics all around us. We have TVs, cell phones, iPads, uh, street lights, car lights, all these different things that are emitting light that's entering our eyes and signaling to the brain, it's daytime, the time to be awake, alert, active, energetic. Over time, that blunts your circadian rhythm. Now it's, it's tough to just separate yourself from all electronics. We're pretty dependent on electronics in the modern world. So one easy solution is to simply wear blue blockers at night, which are goofy looking glasses, or you can get some stylish ones if you want, that block out the blue light from entering your eyes. And in the process, if you block that blue light, you will actually allow your circadian rhythm to function normally, even while using your computer and using your phone and watching the TV and, and going about your normal business. Is lack of sleep causing you to gain weight? Did you find this video helpful? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, make sure to claim your two free gifts from us today. Discover the top 25 foods that help balance blood sugar, as well as 10 foods to avoid at all costs with our brand new free book, Superfoods for Diabetics. And also get full access to the first episode of our brand new eight-part series, That Diabetes Documentary.
You'll find the links to both of these free gifts in the description below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We're adding new content each week. Thanks for watching.